everyone, Five Farley here, February 9th. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. We got an NBA slate of games tonight. Real interesting. Uh, a lot of movements. New players meeting their new teams. Some on the road, some in a bad spot. I'm going to try and exploit one of those with tonight's NBA best bet. Uh, that'll be coming to you in one second. Before I do that, uh, let me say I have more plays. There'll be another NBA play over on patreon.com slash fivefarley. Uh, you can check out NCAA basketball plays that are over there as well. Uh, also check out the other video for NCAA basketball's best bet. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. A lot of content out there. Uh, just went eight straight with the loss last night. Unfortunately, it's now eight of the last nine best bets in NBA were winners. Um, not going for my 10th straight today as I was hoping. So, going to start a new streak tonight, though. Uh, I think we got the game to do it. I think we got a, uh, a pretty good situation here to key in on. Um, so, without further ado, let's talk about that. Let's talk about tonight's slate of games. Um, we have got the Clippers, who, of course, trading away uh, the leading scorer, uh, Tobias Harris. They also uh, have, uh, you know, quite a bit of their team has been uh, uh, sent packing. Uh, while that was going on, they have to play the Pacers. They get uh, beat by the Pacers by, uh, what, four, 24? 24 points, uh, point loss to the Pacers. Then uh, continuing on the road, this is their fifth road game in a row, and now they have to play Boston. Many of their new teammates are meeting them uh, in Boston for the first time. Um, they, uh, Chandler, Temple, Green, Shamit. Uh, Zubak, uh, of course, a big one. He's supposed to be starting tonight. Uh, the former Laker center there is going to be starting. Um, I think he's out of Croatia uh, for the Clippers tonight. Uh, what? It's just going to be a mess. I, I don't even know how that is going to function and how uh, they're going to rotate guys in. That's going to be a really tough thing to do. Uh, meanwhile, Boston pretty much stayed consistent. Uh, not much has changed. And being a good home team as they are, I expect them to be a steady Eddie in tonight's game and really be able to take control of this game. This is not a vulnerable spot for them. They just had a spot that was vulnerable with the training deadline and all the chaos going on with the Lakers and LeBron coming back in with Irving. And they, they dropped that game at the last second with Rondo hitting uh, the game winner. And so, uh, you know, they lose the game. Now they're going to be refocused. They can't drop two in a row. They can't even, you know, this won't be a laxed uh, Celtics team. So I think this is Celtics all the way. Um, the only thing I don't like about this, and I will give this one caveat, because if you're one who fades public plays, uh, this is one that public is, this isn't information that public is not aware of. Uh, people are keying in on this game, even with the number at 11 and a half. So it's still getting public money as well as even bigger, uh, bigger money on it as well. So, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of money going in on this game. A lot of it's on the Celtics side. I'm also on the Celtics side um, because I think it's going to be a winner. So there you go. I got Celtics minus 11 and a half for the, today's best bet in the NBA. I got another play. It'll be over on patreon.com slash Farley. Feel free to check that out. Um, there's also NCAA picks over there. Check those out again as well over at patreon.com slash So there you go. Good luck, everyone, tonight. We'll see you again soon.